Another strong finish here. Sure. By the way, NASDAQ up one plus percent three days in a row. Yeah, I mean, clearly it's been a pretty powerful rally off the off the low a couple days ago. Uh, and, and it's been led by technology. Um, obviously, net, names like Netflix and Amazon are among uh, the, the strongest performers Tesla. off the low. Tesla, obviously. But also, interestingly, uh, the home builders, uh, which have had a pretty strong rally here, even as the, the macro data has not been cooperating at all. Is it justified? So and the question I asked at the very top of the show, is this move justified? Do you believe it? Yeah, well, I mean, listen, uh, you know, I've been on with you a couple of times where we've discussed a, a rally or a bounce and, and whether it's been justified. And in each case, sure. Uh, in, in most cases, what we'll call bear market rallies are 10, 11, 12 percent off the lows. And in that sense, if that's what's happening now. So you you still think that it is a bear market rally rather than something more significant is, by the way, we just showed the S&P 500 knocking on the door of 4,000. Sure. Finishes at 39.99. Yeah. I mean, but see, in the settlement here, if it even ticks to 4K, but it's just emblematic of the move that we've had. You're not willing to say that it's anything more than a bear market bounce. No, I'm not. Well, first of all, to, to at the risk of, of creating a headline on CNBC.com, like we could bounce up to 4,100 or, or 4,200, something like that. Um, that would be perfectly in line with history. Last time I was on, I said we could bounce up to 4,400, and we immediately went straight down thereafter. Um, th like that's what bear market rallies do. But again, the, the price action has been such, and the fundamentals have been such that there's no reason to think that we are not yet uh, that we are coming out of the bear market. And until either the price action or the fundamentals tell me otherwise, then you have to believe that that's still the case. So let's go fundamentals. So what if I say, OK, coming into earnings, you and everybody else, me, I mean, everybody was sort of batting down the hatches for bad numbers. Now, they haven't been like blow the doors off amazing, but they've been far from horrific. That's one thing. Sure. Economic data, not great. Not we got great that again today. Philly Fed, the uh, conference board leading economic indicators was ugly, too. So we're sort of you know, the yin and the yang of, of where we are, what all of that means for the Fed. But at least we have earnings that aren't completely falling out of bed. And that's one of the reasons why the market has been able to do what it's doing. And I agree with that. And, and admittedly, when you go through the 20% the of the S&P market cap that's reported thus far, still a, a small portion, commentary is mixed. You have some of the transport logistic companies uh, that have reported that seem to suggest that things are generally OK. You have Bath & Body Works. Uh, which which pre-announced not very good numbers at all and, and had fairly negative things to say. So I don't think you can uh, come out of this and say everything is on the up and up. But I, I also think clearly it hasn't been thus far as bad as perhaps I would have thought. But there's still a lot of room to go here. We've got several more weeks of this.